2016. Wow, this was a rough year, to say the least. Oh, who am I kidding? This year was hell. Uh, anyway, hi guys, KR here. And I wanted to point something out that has been on my mind recently. And that is this year, especially the previous month. And I've noticed something during this time, especially since I've been gone from my channel because of my broken computer. And that is, people are trusting each other less and less. We're all quick to anger this year. No matter if it's been the election, or the Black Lives Matter march, or even something else that was political or in the news. We're all quick to anger. In fact, even some people in the fandoms that I'm in are paring their fangs even more. The furry community, brony community, Pokemon, anything. And it's hard. I'm a person that doesn't see violence as a solution, but I'm kind of a hypocrite. I get angry really easily too, and sometimes I lash out. But I always catch myself right before I actually hurt someone, or even myself, physically or emotionally. And, well, it is hard. And that's what I'm here for right now. I want to tell you all that everything will be okay. Even if Trump causes World War III, then we'll be fine. Because, well, we all missed the one thing during the entire time of 2016. We all have family and friends that we can lean on for support. I want to show people that just being in 2016 doesn't mean it's the end of the world. And because 2016 is ending in a few hours as of this recording, that doesn't mean also that we're all going to be alone. And I know I promised on my Facebook page that a friend of mine was going to be here today, but, um, well, that's been moved to next week. Sorry. Anyway. I've been really upset lately, especially with the election, because Trump won. Hooray. Anyway, I have wanted to get this off my chest. I've had family that have been either angry with me or supportive of me for my words and my choice of who I voted for. And while the one who opposed me hurt, the one side that helped me really make me feel better. One side that helped me really made me feel better and reminded me of what is out there in the world. Many people don't realize, but just doing something for someone else really does help. If you give a smile to someone who's having a bad day, the, it'll brighten up their day a bit more. If you help someone cross the street if they've dropped something, or even just return a stolen item, or even just a simple hello. That's something that I try to do every day, and especially with this channel. I want to be able to show people that things will be okay. I'm an optimist, and I always see the bright side of things, even if things are really dark. To quote Nightwing, whenever someone asks what power they wish they had, flying is always at the top of the list. But I have to admit, I've learned to love falling too. And if you don't know who that is, Dick Grayson was the first Robin in, Bat in the Batman series and in the comic books. Dick was definitely an interesting story. His parents died when he was really young, and he was a circus acrobatic with them. Bruce Wayne, Batman, was in the crowd, and he saw what happened, and he saw himself inside of Dick after what happened. Because Bruce Wayne's parents were also murdered right in front of them. But, well... Because Bruce's parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne, were killed right in front of him by a street mugger. And he couldn't avenge them. Because he chose not to kill people. And with Dick, it was another story. Dick wanted justice for what had happened for his parents. And after learning who it was that caused the net to fall, or whichever of the origin stories you prefer for Dick Grayson for being Robin with his parents dying, if it was the live-action movie Batman Forever, you probably saw Chris O'Donnell playing Dick Grayson. And in the movie, Two-Face, Harvey Dent, had placed a bomb above the whole circus arena, and Dick was able to get it free. But unfortunately, not at the cost of the, of the lives of his parents and his brother, who had previously taken down the safety net for the routine that they were performing before everything went down. 
And with Nightwing's quote, it is a good optimistic point of view. Being able to fly is amazing. It's a great superpower. But we all have to learn that falling is a part of life, and we have to learn to get back up. But of course, flying is something we all wish to do, and we all do. We fly to reach our goals. We fly to reach the top. We all strive for something. But of course, in the quote, I've learned to love falling too, that's a great idea. That's an idealist point of view. It's saying we have to learn to get used to falling on the ground because it will happen. And there's nothing wrong with that. Falling is a part of life, and we can always get back up. To quote Batman Begins, why do we fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. I know I'm doing the Batman quotes, but I'm a massive nerd. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm bringing up this quote specifically is because 2016 was the year everybody fell. Little kids fell off their bikes, politicians fell out of their chairs, and even movie stars have fallen, and not from fame, but also with their lives. And it's been a really tough year for all of us. So, my message right now for this entire audio is look at 2017 as the year of new beginnings. It's a new year, it's a new you, and it's a new us. Let's make this year a time where we pick up a piece of garbage off the street. We say hello to a stranger. We donate money to a homeless man sitting on the corner. We give our time so that way we can help make the world a better place. Heck, we can even do things to better our own lives. Just do something. We can do it. And... I know 2017 will be a great year. 2016 has come and gone, and we can leave the past behind us. And But now, it's time to look for the future. I'm sorry again that this audio isn't a girlfriend roleplay audio, like I promised in my Facebook post and my Tumblr post. But, um, well, that's gonna come tomorrow, because tomorrow is January 1st. And as of this audio, it is 4.45 that I'm recording this. Wow, I really gotta do things earlier. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you all had a great day today, and I hope that you all will be celebrating the year to come. Thanks again for listening to my audios. It makes me very happy, and thank you all for subscribing. It makes me feel really good that I get to do what I want to do, and it also makes me feel happy that I'm making your day by even just saying a little compliment. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye! Happy New Year!